timing deflections so you can preserve your spirit meter while also avoiding damage. Got it. Especially when enemies also start mixing in powerful, unblockable attacks that have to be parried rather than blocked. Crucially, though, you can completely negate damage from regular attacks it's like a Mariki just by counter holding almost. down the block button. So those that go on for days... Uh, that's not really that long. That reminds me of the, uh, the centipedes in... Uh, in Sekiro, where they have like the attack, 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 and then like at the very end they do the big attack that can break your posture. Straight up attacking didn't work. I could focus more on defense and reduce their spirit by deflecting big attacks. You know, I feel like I'm just gonna use the big mace and kill everything with the big mace. I, I mean, because you think about it, right? So you have the big, the, the big NPCs like this. You you fight them like a Dark Souls boss. And then you have the small NPCs. Bro, there's no way somebody's going to get hit by that massive fucking mace and then not fall down. They're going to get staggered by it every time. So you just stun lock people with the mace. Like that, Vort's hammer, I yeah. Down on... Let's look at the hammer. One of my so favorite good. new ideas in Wolong is the addition of morale. You see what I'm saying with this hammer? Like, I saw how big that hammer was. Bro, every time he hits somebody with that hammer, they're stunned. This hammer's broken. Few high ranked monsters sprinkled here and there to give you an occasional challenging fight. By the time you're near the end of the level, though, you're regularly going up against rank 20 enemies and bosses that will be really tough to deal with if you haven't been thorough in cleaning out the opposition. I'm probably gonna go and like 100% clear the zone, so it's not that big of a deal. Much like Neo, more in the mold of Sekiro than Dark Souls. And yet, yeah, it yeah see, it's even got those, like, obviously, that's like a stealth, like, kill point. It's the exact same as Sekiro has. So, aggression does not constitute valor. Stand aside. Jesus Christ. That's so annoying. Oh, oh my god, I hate these fucking mobs, man. What the f I'm trying to move my fucking... I just, I, I don't even know, like, whether they're gonna do a combo or not. Okay.
So that's Sanjao, eh? This demagogue here! An aggressive action does not constitute a God. I need more flags. What do you mean? Jesus Christ! Like, it, it, it's like it just happens in like a split second. It, it, it's not about the, uh... 
Let's get this done. Oh my god, it's not about the damage. It, it, I just, I just think the but it's very fast. Yeah, it's like you can't even hardly react to this. So this is on job, eh? Like what? What is that? Like it. Jesus Christ. I, I I think I'm done. Oh my god, I'm done. Yeah, I think it would be easier. I think it would be easier if I had the higher level. Like, you're totally right about that. But I just, I don't like this game. I think this game sucks. I, I'm going to be honest. I, I think it sucks. I, 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 I'll explain why. Basically, the reason why I think the game sucks is that, number one, you get a million different items, and it's like you have to go through every single item to figure out, like, what the item means and, like, what that does. Then you have your equipment weight, which is not easily understandable, like, what it does or, like, how that changes the game. Then after that, you have uh, these weird flags that you have to pick up. The system is not very intuitive. I think the boss fights are just garbage. That's what it comes down to. I think the boss fights are legitimate garbage. Uh, the difficulty is just purely built around the attacks having different delays and you having to continuously attack the boss and fight the boss to figure out what those attack patterns are. Uh, I think that a lot of them have almost no indicator before they happen. Uh, I just think that they're bad. I think they're bad mechanics, straight up. Like, I've, uh, I've played a lot of these kinds of games before, and I think that really after playing this, it really made me appreciate something like Sekiro or Elden Ring, because it's just designed in so much more of a coherent and easy-to-understand way. Uh, the mobs have, like, seven or ten different hit combos where it's hard to tell whether they're resetting from a combo or they're continuing a combo. Uh, it's just... I, I don't really see it being I, I just don't I don't think it's fun. Like I, I think that's really all it comes down to. Charles comes to toxic, that's why you just parry. You can say it's a skill issue as much as you want, but I just think this is a bad game. Like if you like I I'll show you what I mean. Because obviously people might like like, yeah, of course, if I did this boss People for, like, like an hour like, or something like, like yeah, that. Yeah, of course. If yeah, no sh- oh my god. Um, okay, um, what can I do about that? If I do this? No, it's just not gonna fix it. Um, hmm. Here, let me close the game real quick. Uh, no, not, not that. Yeah, and, and also, like, this game is full of, like, all of these... And again, like, this is just my preference, maybe. But, like, there are all these, like, overcomplicated systems in this game that make it just simply annoying, overly complex, and just obnoxious. Uh, I don't know what to say. Like, there's, like, seven different systems in this game that don't need to be here, that add no value to the game, they're just annoying. Why, why would you want to do that? The might of Dash companies don't Shall understand be them because they're new? All. Probably both. I just don't want to learn 15 different systems to play the game. Nothing about this game is intuitive. No, it's not. It, it's not intuitive at all. There's no crouch in the game. Like, I, I, I know there's people, like, saying it's skill issue, etc. Um, oh wait, look at that. The game crashed. So now I have to restart my entire PC. Uh, which, I mean, to be fair, like, this is, this is a PC issue. I'm not really that worried about it. The dodge system sucks. You can't just dodge. You need to move and dodge at the same time. Yeah, I just, I, I think this game is trash. Like, I'll be honest, um... I don't think that there's any, like, I, I didn't have fun playing the game at all for the entire time. And, like, I've played all the Dark Souls games. I've beaten Sekiro. 
So it's not like I'm bad at video games to the extent that it's making me not have, have fun at the game. I just think this is a bad game. People can be critical of me, but like, I'll show you, I'll show you the clip of like what I mean of like why I think these mechanics are bad. The people that are that are saying that like it, it's I'm just crying because I'm bad at the game. How would you like m my question to anybody who thinks that is like, how would you differentiate like somebody who just thinks that the game is like badly designed versus somebody who's bad at the game? It, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, it's a fundamentally bad game. Hey, <laughs> 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 